Hey Excel Geeks, in this series we will be covering how to create a tax invoice in uh, MS Excel file, right? This is a very simple method and in this comprehensive guide, I'll provide you the stepwise guide if in case you are a beginner, right? Uh, if in case you are an intermediate and you are learning, the Excel regular series will help you a lot, okay? So without further ado, we'll start with the stepwise guide, okay? Uh, suppose this is an Excel sheet for you and if in case you are a new for you, uh, I'll quickly start with initial stage we need to click on the start button and then click on the excel as soon as you hit excel button you will see this window okay and you can click on the new blank workbook this is the worksheet where we are you know creating a entire tax invoice folks okay now uh, before we start with the tax invoice just ensure that you know in the excel itself we have a uh, different different pages available okay uh, to view that particular pages we need to ensure that we are selecting this option page layout okay and then check the size of the page entire page so right now it's in a later one okay but we'll click on this again we'll check it's a letter size now when I click on this print preview option this will show me like this which is we can't find anything to print the reason we haven't added any kind of an, uh, border in it so, so what it's showing like this okay as soon as I hit a print preview button you could see this dotted lines added automatically okay so these are the pages which we have available while we are printing the page meaning so whenever I work on this data right and post this I to N this would be my second page okay suppose I draft some sort of information over here and this this and I'll call it as a page 2 and I'll call this as a page 1 cool so this is what I have did and when I click on the print option I'll just click on the print and then if you see page 1 I can see it but the second page which I have typed already in the Excel it's in page 2 okay so don't do that mistake so that's what you know we need to ensure that we always click on this option page layout okay uh, and then we check the what type of size we have available and basis that uh, adding a print preview option you could see this beautiful dotted line added and this will help us to you know work on the stipulated area which will help us will get printed okay so I'll scroll it down so this is my borderline now what I will do I'll just set a print area for me cool I'll just select this entire stuff from here to here cool and then I'll click on this option set print area this is my print area now I'll click on this view option okay and page break preview this is my one page which is available cool now again I click on the normal view to editing uh, stuff specifically right what I have I have until a 47 rows and one two three four five six seven eight and nine column okay so this is we have available in a page one now what I will do I'll quickly add a header of it for header what I will do I'll just click here merge it I'll type as a tax invoice editing part will uh, take care later on stage okay but for now we just add the basic basic information and then we'll add a three tables over here cool I'll just click on this border outside border and then this outside border once again no border first and then I'll again click on the outside border okay these are the three pages for me now what I will do I'll just merge and center for this this and third one cool here I will type seller build to and this will be my ship to and in, and this, in this what we will be doing we will be adding a address okay this is in my header of uh, business who is the seller for me 
suppose i'll say discover beauty product okay and bill to this is uh, suppose this is a consumer for us right so this consumer sakshi tyagi dummy name again and ship to this is from ship to if in case uh, the name is different we'll definitely add that however uh, bill to we are billing this particular party then i think uh, this would be the same so what we will do we'll just copy and paste it this name over here once we have this skeleton ready right we can automatize well. that okay this particular entire tax invoice but uh, that stage i'll teach you later on stage okay prior that we'll just create this skeleton first and this is the address whatever address we have available so i'll just select this again merge and center this is the address i'll say haryana west and then um, address could be long short medium as per your convenience you can keep it that's completely fine uh, i'll keep it a mumbai west mumbai okay it's not a east west though but i'll just keep it as a mumbai and for haryana india i'll keep it as a india you can add the contact details as well but considering the details right uh, which i am holding right now it's having some you know personal information so that's what i don't want to share that but you can you know assume that you can add your Making own details right so you can definitely add those details that's completely fine again mumbai is the same details which is applicable over here which is this this is what we have done so far what we have did we have just you know added the header and then ship to uh, ship to right bill to and the seller details cool now the invoice details here what i will do the invoice number and those kind of details we are going to add this in this particular portal so overall what i will do i'll just select this again entirely considering i have the space uh, available and the details to be available what i will do i'll take one more line i'll select this and then this is just a border outside i have added in the tax invoice now what i will do i'll add a invoice details over here once again okay and this time i'll click on this merge across reason this will automatically add my invoice details to the left hand side but i think earlier i have click on the center so that's what it's in center but let me click on this option which is left so it would be in the left and then i'll click on this uh the portal site right or from where they have bought the product so portal so basically uh reference i would say rather you can call it as anything because see uh, if in case you are doing your business through a influencer right you can add reference would be a great help right uh, you can say so and so referral or maybe influencer have you know um, sell this product right so that time you know you can add that particular code over here and basis that you know you can track that that you know so and so influencer which is discover talent now he is a influencer right he is promoting the value of our business and uh, he is selling the beauty products for us okay so you can add their names accordingly cool and then payment mode this is the payment mode method payment mode and the transaction id this is the transaction id i'll just add a transaction id if in case any cool uh date I'll keep a AWB number if in case anything, and this is the payment more details, blah blah details added over here, portal details. So what I will what do, I you know, from uh, portal reference, I'll say Amazon. Okay, so from Amazon, it's uh, sold. Right? So that's what I know. I'll just add a brand name. I'll say Amazon. 
okay and uh, order number cool so I'll just select this again click here order number and then order date order date uh, I'll say just a date because this details again it's related to the uh, order so that's what I'll keep as a order date cool and then what I will do I'll just merge this which is this this again the transaction ID also here these are the headers for me and then invoice details if in case it's in any invoice details we have we can definitely add those otherwise invoice details I'll just say date invoice code any invoice code bear with my uh, spelling mistakes okay um, I'm just typing bit fast so that's what I know it's taking some time to add okay so this is what I have did so far and what we will be doing right now let me just centerize this tax invoice keep it a 26 font and the bold cool likewise what I will do I'll just click here select this the blue and then this this option I'll click on this more colors select this light blue somewhere and then for the beauty products okay I'll keep it this as a can do you just select this option okay entirely uh, there is an option called theme in the page layout right you can just select that theme and uh, basis your requirement you can just amend those the font will automatically you know adjust those basis your requirement I'll just click here okay this font looks fine for me and this is what I have now what I will do I'll just select this entire stuff uh, bottom one uh, apart from this cool I'll just skip this as a white background like this and uh, this is what I have did so far right now what I want to do uh, I'll, I'll do a bold for this okay I did it just a bold for this and uh, this is the seller details for me correct okay, this is a italic which is this this details is important for me but yeah need to have to have those so that's what just adjust those again you can add multiple details which is address again uh, okay that's completely fine uh, next it as a address once again address copy and paste I say this as a bold bold this is what I have did so far you can arrange as per your convince folks okay and now this is the reference and all these details what I will do I'll just select this so as soon as I uh, you know when we change this entire layout right you can see this color could automatically get changed so I'll, what I will do I'll just click again blue green okay this will give me the color coding option to select select this again variety of colors available right now and this is what I have selected now now I'll just remove this no border again yeah and this is how it look like for me and this is the thick border now what I will do uh, I'll select this entire stuff but prior that no I need to no. add a different different information which is my quantity MRP rate discount charges uh, taxable 
GST amount and so on and so forth right so for that what I need to do I need to do this uh, columns right I need to add this individually so this is the, my serial number for me activity basically the products and uh, description or maybe I will say item number uh, SKU ID if in case any quantity MRP rate okay I will say uh, in the beauty product uh, as from tax invoice which I am holding right now it's saying that you know IGST so I just added a IGST and amount so this is what I have added the details now I'll just bold this centerize this center alignment and uh, double border and all border again I'll select this double border like this cool so this is how it looks like okay and uh, for now what I will do I'll just keep this a row bit top and then here I'll just select this entire stuff click on the more border as soon as I hit a more border I get these options right so there are uh, different types of uh, borders available what I will do I'll just select this option and then click here and design my border entirely as soon as I hit a enter this will looks like this cool so this is what we have did so far folks okay and uh, let me just select this once again entirely and uh, at the end and uh, click on this option and click on this thick outside border so this is how it looks like for us cool now what I will do I'll add a serials numbers over here one two three kind of and I'll keep a product so, so uh, for me I've added a lipstick here okay uh, one more is lip liner and then another is that um, lip color again just on a random product folks okay you can just you know add as per your convenience okay zero zero nine zero zero seven okay I'll just say zero zero seven for that you need to ensure that you know you are selecting this entire stuff uh, numbers and then click here the number we have this this is my SKU ID for me okay uh, what I will do I'll just add a semicolon on the top 0000, 0, 0, 0. this likewise I'll just do a control D and uh, 6 SKU ID can be a different right folks okay basis your uh, product what you have available right so one quantity bought okay two quantity bought and lip color is one I'll just keep as a one 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 and central will alignment uh, will taken care of later on stage okay and the 800 MRP and for that uh, 270 and for this I'll keep a 390 now you could see this MRP uh, for this what you need to do you just need to select this entire stuff select it click on this option and then rupees if in case you are applying this in India you can definitely choose the currency uh, as per rupees uh, if in case in the another location you are watching this video okay folks okay 
use this currency as per your requirement yeah there is an ample amount of currency symbols available in excel pre-built function no need to go here and there and search that now the rate okay so rate is 410.23 and then 158.98 And for this, I'll keep a 70 similar again. I will select this once again, rupees India rate and then this. Okay, so as soon as you add this uh, rupees sign, right, what you can do uh, to use this taxable amount, if in case you haven't imposed any kind of a discount for that, uh, you can definitely use the same value over here okay this is what i am doing right now because it's a not uh, applied any kind of a discount so this value will be remain same okay and the gst which is gst i've applied so for this i'll select this into 18 percent 73.84 and then I'll just select this this is my taxable amount and uh, if in case I'll add a more value this will automatically get increased yeah so this is what I have added so far and uh, if in case you don't want to add further right you can definitely clear it out that's completely fine and then I want to have a amount in place so for that what you need to do click here Click this amount plus this amount which is 484 and you can directly just do it control D okay so this is my uh, overall amount and for this amount what we will be doing you click here and add a white background with like this so this is the final cut of the tax invoice now i'll just select this entire stuff center alignment and at the end we have different different cuts available like here okay i'll do a total calculation for this so if in case uh, I need a MRP total so and so that I will be doing over here I'll type a total click and then this is the column column D to until I what I need to do just press a alt key and is equal to oops it's getting zoom let me just zoom out i was just trying to press a shortcut key which is alt is equal to but i think it's not really working let me just use other way around nope it's not working cool so what you need to do you just need to click is equal to some function simple and then select this values uh, whatever you have available here select this press enter okay and then just drag it click center and then bold and for this what you need to do again a bit darker font this time and this is the total so you will merge it keep it bold and bit size like this so this is what we have did so far folks okay uh, if in case in a size is not getting good so i'll just arrange this and i'll keep this digits only until a two decimal not more than that at the end i'll just say this 
is system generated copy okay and uh, entirely I'll just merge and center I'll do a italic and the text would be same so as soon as this calculation has been done right in this space what we will be doing we'll uh, use this space for signature okay and this is for a declaration per se so declaration would be like declaration and declaration would be like uh, we declare that this invoice shows actual price of the good described cool all disputes are subject to Haryana jury diction only jury diction this is what I have added the declaration over here and here you, we will be adding a, a company name which is shop what was that shop we have added a dummy shop which is this again this discover would be discover beauty product like this okay I'll just select this copy and uh, comma paste bold this is what it is and we can just add a signature at the end when we have a hard copy in place now this is what I have did so far but uh, rather I don't know we move ahead I just show you a transaction ID if in case any transaction ID added we will get this number here okay and uh, this numbers would be in number format and then date whatever date we are applying for we just kept a same date here for now and the code now the product code or maybe the invoice code if in case we have we definitely add those code over here suppose uh, I'll keep this a code like this and uh, I have a barcode system available in my company right so for that what I can do um, here I'll just do a simple is equal to right and then ampersand and again I'll just select this first value right and then again the rate cool here there you go so this is what the value is showing right now but at, at the time of uh, you know let me just see what happened cool so this is the font I'm going to use this is the font and then enter as soon as I press a enter this <coughs> tax invoice is automatically generated into the barcode form and this barcode we can use in our product and this is the order number for me cool so this is how we created this beautiful uh, tax invoice folks okay if uh, you done this right uh, with this barcode what you need to do uh, simple step you just need to you know click on this option file and click on this print option as soon as you click on the print you can see this tax invoice coming into the PDF form right click this option print and this automatically getting into the PDF if in case uh, you don't have this PDF added already right in the printer section 
you can direct it print as well okay it will take some time to load and there is a other method as well to export this into the PDF I'll show you that too in the meantime just let me know how you uh, benefited with this video just in the comment section I'm happy to uh, read those stories right and uh, accordingly I'll try my level best you know to create a more videos like this which is an informative one and uh, specifically for the startup right uh, people who are indulging these startups they are always try to save their money right wherever they do it and uh, whenever we get this template from online I believe there are some trademarks copyrights added but in Excel you can easily create such kind of a template easily steady right so this is what the main intent for us creating this video folks so it will take some and this asks me for now to I'll just save this to and there you go this is the tax invoice it's generated in PDF boom this is what we have created now you can see if in case uh, so after applying this barcode in this right what we need to do we need to just ensure that you know we are selecting this and uh, taste merge and center because we get the maximum space for this okay so let me just take this space so whenever number is changed this code will automatically get changed okay so this is the barcode and then what I will do I'll just again once again this is the aids are cutting right so I'll just select this once again click on this borders and uh, now it's time to export this into the PDF how to do that it's a very simple step click on file export export PDF and then create a PDF simply you can just save this okay file uh, my invoice I just say the my invoice and there you go this is the invoice which we have created super and this is not it uh, if in case you have a multiple tax invoices and you need a support from a chat GPT right or maybe co-pilot of Microsoft that time what you need to do is simply click on this option which is ask co-pilot and just type a this prompt and as soon as you hit a this prompt you will enter it right in uh, ask co-pilot and this will give you the overall glance of this tax invoice this document of tax invoice issued by so and so so you don't need to you know go there and read it you will get this entire information handy over here right hand side and this is an amazing feature by Microsoft right this co-pilot will really help you and from this you will get a more and more information about this your tax invoice folks okay so this is how you intelligently create your tax invoice through a Microsoft suit okay so I would recommend go with it and uh, once again if in case you find this useful please comment in below section and do subscribe my channel thanks for watching have a great day ahead